guys, it's Borks, and hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today, guys, is my long-awaited unboxing of Barbie. Here, let me get her number correct for you guys. 208. She has the National Down Syndrome Barbie. Guys, guys, I love this outfit. Look at this queen-like outfit she's wearing. I love this. Sorry, guys, I have other dolls for the box. Uh, I'm running out of space in my phone from all the uh, my phone and tablets it's being filmed on my tablet. Um, well, my Noah Galvin pictures I have in here. Look, guys, look how beautiful she is. Guys, she has Down syndrome. And if you guys don't know, I did some research on this condition. Um, there's different forms of Down syndrome. She has the kind that where you don't completely look at. Like, you can see she doesn't have, like, typical looks of Down syndrome completely. And that kind of talk, guys, is ignorant. You know why? People with Down syndrome can look just like anybody else. Fun fact about yours truly, guys. I originally wanted to be a teacher. Not originally. Originally, I wanted to be a surgeon for conjoined twins when I was a little girl. Before I became disabled in my... I, before I became physically disabled, I became disabled in 2016 when I fell and hurt my ankle. I Sorry, guys. <laughs> um... No, decided. I mean, uh, I want to be a Down syndrome teacher. So, so wait, guys, I don't want to cut the box. I want to take off this side for box art so I can use it to make backdrops. I got the idea from a thousand splendid dolls to do backdrops. And you know what, guys? I haven't done it. I've had the idea for years, and I had all, all my supplies. Hold on, guys. So guys, I had the idea for a while to start doing backdrops, and I had out. My backdrop supplies, guys, but fly made a boom boom on it. Back when my brother came to visit me, and I had some of my supplies that my niece knew instead of Barbie. I had to go, oh, yeah, so I'm trying to make backdrops with it, but my eyes weren't working at the time very well. You guys know my channel, I'm vision impaired, so I have to wait when I go do these projects when my eyes work. And my eyes don't always work, guys. You guys, look at this. Borks, guys, sorry, it's my shirt. No way. I'm wearing a Disney shirt today. Hold on, guys, let's get it out. With my vision, I didn't notice that there's a stupid. You guys, I was so I told my niece I wanted to make backdrops for my videos. So when I'm filming, you don't get to see everything that's around me. Because, guys, my dining room table shows when I film. And now that I. It's hard, guys, that it shows. Guys, there's a piece of top here. I up. Guys, I, my eyes don't work well today. Anyway, my diamond table is like 60, probably 70 years old. Um, it's my grandma, so it's stained and all, and we changed the tablecloth, and I have a clear one on. That's why, you guys, was, I film up here. So the writing's worse up here, but the background's better. It's in my coat. Um, like I was saying, I don't know if I said this when I was practicing, because I practice making my videos. Um, she reminds me of my classmate. In my school, guys, when we... When I was in my school year, did everybody in together. And there was a girl in my class named Leah. I don't want to give out too much of Leah's information. Who had Down syndrome. And when I seen this doll, I thought of Leah immediately. You normally would think I probably would have named her Leah. But no, um, I named, I'm naming her Barbie because Barbie is cool and Barbie can have Down syndrome if she likes. But Leah was a nice girl, guys. I mean, of all the girls I went to school with, Leah was older than me because sometimes they, they go by a grade when I was in school. Hold on, guys. So. Guys, I'm going to show you guys how the dolls fastened in the back. Like this, that, and then that little tabby thing. So if you're a child or someone like me that has disabilities, maybe get some help. Anyway, guys, at my school, we everybody with disabilities and without disabilities, we were all in school together. So, guys, she was really hard to debox. I mean, I haven't deboxed a Barbie. Probably. It's the first Barbie I think I deboxed as, a, as an adult, I believe, guys. But don't quote me if I'm wrong. Oh, uh, look, guys, I love Oh, her shoes and her braces are builded in. Some people with Down syndrome, they are shorter. Um, I'm actually short, but I have a different disability. I love her hair. Well, my display, you guys, in my eyes. I wish they had one that's supposed to have the stigmas. I would love that. So, because I wanted to get the disabled doll to represent. So that there's a disabled representation, guys. I love it. 
I love her. She's beautiful. If you have a Barbie with special needs, my view on her is, okay, guys, look, guys, look, so she's, like, she's not string. She's, I honestly, she was hard to get out of the box for me, but that could be because I'm vision impaired, and there's not a lot of light in my my room. Uh, she had necklaces tabbed in, still her hair is tabbed. I know, guys, she's not the first Barbie I deboxed. I deboxed um, one that was coming apart, I got. She doesn't have the chia. I'm not going to show her. She has built arm panties. I'm thinking American girl thing. But guys, I love her. She's beautiful. So this Barbie, 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Especially if you're like me and you have a disability. I recommend this Barbie even if you don't. Equality, guys. Equality. It is time we started. Look, she's a little curvy too. So she's kind of built curvier. She's a little smaller busted than me. But she's got wide hips like I do. Um, so this Barbie, to me, you guys, she's 10 out of 10. Ah, she's 10 out of 10. Because I love special needs people. Only, like, most of special needs people, I mean, are really kind. So, just one person wasn't. But other than that, guys, from, so, from a girl who wanted to be a surgeon for special needs children. Coming from a girl who wanted to be a doctor for special needs children. I give this Barbie 10 out of 10 stars. She, she, okay, guys, my review is 10 out of 10. On her joints, everything moves. Like, let me see, let me show you guys. I see her arms move. I got her for Christmas. I just, I've been having issues. I love her necklace. I love her dress. I wish they gave this dress to other people because I'm in love with it. My dad was like, that dress is a little short for her. My dad thought she was supposed to, my dad thought she was skipper. Fun fact, guys. Guys, know I do have two skippers. I have to compare her next to my skipper. Um, where are my Barbies, guys? My Barbies live in my backpack. In my Jan Sport backpack. I gotta go get it. Well, anyway, guys, we'll do that in a different video. Maybe compare her to, I don't want to promise. Compare her to my skipper doll. I think this Barbie is great for someone with special needs or somebody who is like me who has a disability at all. Like, disabled Barbies, I love them. They add inclusion. People were saying negative things about this Barbie, and I was like, look at her. She's a queen. Some people, like I said, she has the Down syndrome starts with an M. I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember the name of it. I have actually don't know if I've ever met anybody with that form of Down syndrome. I normally meet the third time. Sorry, guys. I did research on this Barbie and on Down syndrome a while ago. So I kind of forget what I was learning. Fun fact, guys, they hear now a Down syndrome can they think now can be in doctors think can be inherited. So just because someone does not look like they have Down syndrome does not mean they don't. Um now personally, guys, Down syndrome does not run in my family. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna tell you guys something. I had what I thought were nightmares when I was in my teens. Of me having a baby and then the doctor finding out my baby had Down syndrome. You know what, guys? Why is that a bad thing? There are some Down syndrome people. Guys, I like to think of Leah when I think of people with Down syndrome. She was a sweet girl. I thought she was a sweet girl. She liked movies and TV shows, and she liked celebrity stuff. And she was a nice girl. So if she's nice, doesn't mean... Maybe because she's nice doesn't mean everyone with Down syndrome is nice. But you know what, guys? The people with Down syndrome are just like us. I like how they tacked her hair down. So I had trouble, though, trying not to cut her hair. I popped the bands off. So I love her. She gets 10 out of 10. So yes, guys, remember that. Just because someone has Down syndrome and they're mean to you does not mean everyone is mean with Down syndrome. Absolutely not. It that kind of reminds me of Raising Autumn as well. Autumn girl is so sweet. So cute. And it just about it just, it, mom who takes care of her special needs daughter on YouTube. She's great. Daughter. I think the daughter is like so cute. It's like a little girl. Young lady, 17. Okay, guys, I think this, she looks younger than the typical Barbie as well. But okay, guys, if you like this kind of content, remember, guys, that's Jeffrey. He's just checking on. He, he's, you know, the, becoming the big man around here. He doesn't want anyone getting bullied. Hey, Barbie, I'm Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey and Barbie. You're going to be my new best friend. Yes. Hey, guys, in the comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell me down below, do you like this Barbie? Because I love her. And by the way, guys, a quick little fun fact about me is I actually, when American Girl asked us what doll we wanted for the for next American Girl, truly the American Girl, Girl of the Year, I said I wanted one with Down Syndrome and autism and dolls with special needs. And they said they were going to take my request to the writer room. Okay, bye, guys.